Let's read a story to celebrate Valentine's Day. And I'm good. Drew, I can draw those cards way better than you can. Hey, I worked really hard on those. <laughs> now they're all as mean as we are. I love it. You love it? Uh, I mean... It's time for a brand new adventure with Drew Pendus and his mighty pen ultimate. You're gonna love today's episode because it's all about love. Old friend Cupid was flying around cool school helping everyone share their love. I love love. Boing. Hey everyone, let's give out cards. Here's a little love. Ta da! Aw, just what I always wanted. Love you, Crafty Carol. Ah, I love it! Looks like you could use some love. This ball could use some more love. Boing! Ouch! Oh, I almost forgot. I brought chocolates for everyone. But not everybody was in such a loving mood. Yuck, all this love just reminds me how much I hate everything. And all of this pink and red, like, hurts my eyes. Yeah, the worst part of rain is that it makes roses grow. I hate roses. Gee, then I think love is kind of nice. Gross, Timmy. Love is for losers. Yeah, that's why we brought our friend Sting. Yeah, I hate love. I want to hit someone with my mean arrows. They become mean like me. <laughs> Being mean doesn't sound very nice. Exactly. <laughs> I don't need this. I already have a million books. Man, I'm good. Robbie, these chocolates taste worse than lunch food. Yuck. Drew, I can draw those cards way better than you can. Hey, I worked really hard on those. <laughs> now they're all as mean as we are. I love it. You love it? Uh, I mean, hate it. I hate it. Cupid, what's going on here? Why is everyone being so mean? Uh-oh, Drew, look out. What was that? That sting. He's my evil twin. He hates everything, and he's super mean. Super mean? Well, good thing I'm a superhero. Drew took out his mighty penultimate and turned into the stupendous Drew Pentis. You're going down, Super Drew. Drew made a super cool shield. Sting fired his mean arrows, and those arrows bounced right off. But when they bounced back and hit Sting, he just became even meaner. Hey, Drew, I think your outfit looks more like pajamas. Get a real outfit. Making fun of my super suit? Now it's personal. Good. Get angry. Just what I want. Hmm, he's right. If I get angry at him, it just means that he wins. I need to be as nice as possible. Happy Valentine's Day, Sting. Balloons. Ah, I hate balloons. That's when Sting started firing his arrows to pop them all. Cupid, now. Gotcha. Cupid, I really, I really, I love you. Oh, I love you too. Drew, I'm so sorry for being mean to you. We should be friends. Apology accepted. Now come on, let's spread some love. So Cupid shared his love arrows with Sting and Drew, and they went to work. Oh my gosh, what have I done? I'm sorry. I love you, Crafty Carol. Robbie, these chocolates are amazing. Drew, I'm sorry for ruining your cards. Let's make more together. Arr, so much love, I hate it! Not for long. I just want to tell my friends and family how much I love them. And eat chocolate. Where's the cool school garden? I've got to grow some more roses. <gasps> Maybe Joy can, like, help me decorate my dress with some hearts. Love is so great. I knew you guys would come around. What's wrong with you? Why are you all being so nice? Uh-oh, that doesn't look good. Come on, everybody. I'm taking my favorite class of kids on a field trip to the amusement park. Hot dogs all around. Hot yeah, dogs, love it. Boy. Well, boys and girls, Drew saved the day once again and brought back love to Cool School. And even Dean Mean and the kids at Cool School became nice. Well, for a day. Moral of the story, boys and girls, you should love everybody because love makes the world a happier place. Think about what you
what you and your friend love to do together and give them a gift based on that. But the best gift you can give them is your kindness and laughter, of course. That truly is the magic of friendship. These are the most perfect roses in the whole world. I wonder if the beast enters them into flower shows. He'd win for sure. I better not touch them though. That's what got me into this mess. Apparently the beast really likes his flowers. You can touch them. Ah! Don't be scared. Oh, sorry. You just startled me. Are you, um, the... The beast? Yes. Oh. Come out of the shadow so I can see you. Okay, but I have to warn you. I'm super scary. It's okay. I'm super brave. Ah! Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Belle Rose. Hi. <laughs> Belle lived in a small village with her father, one sister, and one brother. Her father was very nice, but her sister and brother, not so nice. I'm not sure why they were so mean. They just were. And they were always fighting, uh, taking things that didn't belong to them, and making up ridiculous fibs. I didn't take your book, Belle. A ninja broke into the house and stole your book. But it was okay. As I said, my dad was the nicest dad ever in the history of daddom. <laughs> my dad had lots of ships that went all over the world selling stuff. But one day, it went all down the drain. One very bad hurricane and my dad lost everything. It's okay, kids. We're still together and that's what matters. Yeah, family. One day, Belle's dad found out that an old ship had drifted into the harbor. It has to be one of my ships, kids. I just know it. Yay! Presents! Yes, presents for everyone. What would you like? I want a pony, and a new dress, and a tiara. I want a new bike, and a new dog. And you, Belle, what would you like? Just one red rose from the flower market. A rose for my Belle Rose. Boring. So basic. So off Belle's dad went, whistling a happy tune. La 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 la, everything's great. But when he got to the harbor, he saw that the mystery ship was just an old pirate ship with nothing but a couple of parrots <laughs> and a rusty old hook on board. He headed back home, whistling a sad tune. La 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 la, everything's not great. And then as if things weren't bad enough for poor old Belle's dad, it started to rain. Hard. Oh, hey, a castle. I bet it's nice and warm in there. Hello? Hello? Is anyone home? The castle was dark and very quiet. He slept like a baby all through the night, and when he woke, he found that someone had made him breakfast. Ooh. Hello? Hmm. Better be on my way. He was just about to leave the castle when he saw a perfect red rose. Just like the one Belle wanted. Who do you think you're doing? Ah! Uh, nothing! I was just leaving. You come into my castle, sleep by my fire, eat my food, and now you steal from me? I'm so, so sorry. My daughter Belle wanted a red rose, and I saw this and it's perfect. I'll make a deal with you. Okay. You may go and take this rose to your daughter. Okay. But she must return and work for me. No! It's either that, or you stay here forever! I... I can't stay. Then send me Belle. Belle's dad had left the castle with the rose, but he didn't know what to do. Could he really send his daughter to work for this beast? Surely not, but what could he do? I'll go back and I'll fight him. Stand back, beast. I'm here to defeat you. Maybe not. He arrived home, still not sure what to do. Dad, I was so worried about you. Where's my bike? Where's my pony? Their dad explained that there would be no pony and no new bike. It's okay, Dad. I'm just glad you're home. Oh, Belle, I did bring you a rose. Ooh. It's lovely. Did you get it at the market? He explained the whole beast situation. When he was done, Belle and her siblings looked like this. I'm not going to work for a stinky beast. Me either. No way. Gross. Of course not. We'll figure this out. I'll go. Great, that settles it. See ya, Belle. Belle, no, you can't. If I don't go, he'll come find you. And then what? I'll go, I'll work, and then I'll come home. No big deal. Aww. And so it was settled. Belle would go to the beast. Hello? Hello? Mr. Uh, 
sir? Oh, dinner is at seven. Hmm. Okay, so like, am I supposed to cook dinner? Is that my job? I guess I better find the kitchen. But when she found the kitchen, she saw that someone had already begun dinner. Smells good. So maybe I'm to set the table. But in the dining room, the table had already been set. Well, I guess I'll just sit here and wait for dinner. Whoa, how'd the food get in here? I didn't see anyone bring it in. Now where's that feast? I'm hungry. Okay, that's it. I'm digging in. I guess I'm eating alone. <laughs> Then Belle realized that she was not alone at all. Ooh. What? Magic. So cool. But wait, if this place has magic invisible servants, then what's my job? And where's that beast? Any answers for me, invisible butler man? Alrighty then. <laughs> I think I'll take a tour of the grounds. Belle thought the castle was the most beautiful place she had ever seen, but her favorite part was the garden. These are the most perfect roses in the whole world. I wonder if the beast enters them into flower shows. He'd win for sure. I better not touch them though. That's what got me into this mess. Apparently the beast really likes his flowers. You can touch them. Ah! Don't be scared. Oh, sorry. You just startled me. Are you, um, the... The beast? Yes. Oh. Come out of the shadow so I can see you. Okay, but I have to warn you. I'm super scary. It's okay. I'm super brave. Ah! Uh, sorry. I was um, I was just screaming at something else. I thought I saw a bat. It's okay. I know what I look like. Oh. Let's try this again. I'm Belle. Hi. I'm the Beast. Is that your real name? No. My real name is Sam. Oh, well, hi, Sam. I'll have Gustav show you a room. Good night, Belle. Has the invisible guy been here the whole time? Uh, boy, this is going to take some getting used to. Belle followed invisible Gustav to her new room. It was pretty amazing. This is amazing. Belle's bedroom had a huge bed with like a hundred little fancy pillows and only about a thousand books. Princess and the Pea, nice. Cinderella, one of my faves. Sleeping Beauty, a classic, but I'd like it better if the main character were awake more. She snoozes through like the whole book. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go to bed now. See you in the morning. I mean, not see you, you know what I mean. <laughs> I should write my dad a letter before bed. <laughs> He'll wanna know how things are going. Dear dad, what a day. The beast is not at all what I expected. I thought he'd be all growly and snarly and mean, but so far he seems pretty nice. The food here is very good. <laughs> oh, and get this, all the butlers and maids are invisible. Anyway, I'm sure you're worried about me, but I'm really doing okay. Love always, Belle. <laughs> Belle was right. Her dad was very worried about her. It was hard for him to have his sweet daughter so far away and living with a scary beast, no less. Poor Belle. I just hope she's okay. I'm sure she's fine. So she lives with a scary monster, so what? Yeah, no big deal, Dad. The next day, Belle woke bright and early, excited <sighs> to start her new job. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, Sam, what's on the agenda for today? Stocks, bonds? Monthly reports? Number crunching? I was thinking we'd just go for a hot air balloon ride. A hot air balloon ride? Yeah, that sounds like fun, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Belle and the Beast spent their first full day together flying around in a hot air balloon just talking and getting to know each other. Well, mostly Belle talked. So yeah, my brother and sister are kind of annoying, but they're family. What are you gonna do? <laughs> do you have brothers and sisters? No. Do you have parents? No. Any family at all? No. Oh, that's so sad. Family's very important. At least you have your health. <laughs> and a castle. <laughs> your hair is also very nice. Do you use conditioner? I use coconut oil in my hair sometimes. It's very moisturizing and it smells delish. Do you have any coconut oil? It's very nutritious. What in the heck is that? It's a hot air balloon, you dingbot. Yeah, but what about a furry dude riding in it? Say, that looks like a monster. I don't like monsters. What was that? Someone shot at our balloon. Oh no! Ah, we're going down! Ah. 
Hold on, Bell. There they are. Get him. Bell, stand back. All right, doggy. Say, I'm not a dog. He can talk? Back up now or we'll shoot. That was so scary. Are you okay? I'm fine. Aw, look, you scratched your paw. It's okay. I'm fine. Yeesh, okay. <laughs> well, I guess we're walking back then? Yeah. Belle and the Beast walked back toward the castle. Belle had a feeling that the Beast was a little embarrassed. Gee, <laughs> nothing like being shot out of the sky by a couple of huntsmen to ruin your day, huh? <laughs> I'm just glad it's over. But unfortunately, it wasn't over. The hunters had run back to their hunting lodge. I'm telling you, he's at least 10 feet tall. And hairy all over. And he had fangs. Huge fangs and claws. Huge claws. He looked like he was half wolf, half bear. But this guy was me. Yeah, and he had a lady with him. We have to go back and save a lady. Beast and Belle were back at the castle, safe and sound for now. <sighs> Now, let's get your paw bandaged. Turns out the beast was a big baby when it came to boo-boos. There, all better. <laughs> and you only cried a little. I did not cry. Sure, okay. I didn't. You know what would be nice right now? Hot cocoa. Gustav, could you make us some hot cocoa? Ooh, with the tiny marshmallows on top, please. With tiny marshmallows, please, Gustav. Cheers, Belle. Cheers, Sam. <laughs> it was cozy and peaceful in the castle. But deep in the woods, the hunters were on the prowl. They were acting big and tough and saying what they were going to do to the beast when they found him. I'm going to tie him up and I'm going to sell him to the zoo. I'm going to feed him to our pet alligator. You have a pet alligator? No, but that'd be cool, right? Yeah. Oh, yes. They were big and brave, weren't they? Wait. I'll hear something. <laughs> Yes, very brave indeed. The next morning, Belle decided she would do something nice for the beast to say thanks for saving her from the hunters. Good morning! Huh? <laughs> Breakfast in bed. I made pancakes. Oh, I like the little smiley face. Aww. You should smile more. We'll have to work on that. <laughs> and Belle did. She made it her top priority to make the beast's castle a cheerful place. Ooh. To the left. Little more. No, back to the right. Perfect. <laughs> he brought home a pet kitten, which wasn't so great at first. <laughs> but they got used to each other. I think I'll name him Scruffles. And she made the beast laugh with her hilarious impressions of Gustav. Huh? Gustav! Gotcha! It was me the whole time! I just pulled this string! <laughs> Belle and Sam's favorite thing to do together was just sit by the fire and read. It was so peaceful and cozy. But it was also during these quiet moments that Belle thought about her dad and how much she missed him. <sighs> you alright? Yeah. Good. But things weren't so good back at Belle's house. Please, go to Belle and tell her to come home. I must see her. I'm, I'm not, not going. going. Jinx. jinx. Double, Double jinx. jinx. Let's flip for it. Heads. It's tails. Sorry. Ugh. Bell. I can't thank you enough. For what? <laughs> Scruffles? Yeah, he's pretty cute. <laughs> no, I mean, thank you for everything. You just make everything nice. Well, you're welcome. And thank you. <laughs> I thought I was going to hate it here, no offense. <laughs> I, I just, well, you know, but I really do like it. I mean it. What happened here? I mean, you live out here all alone, you have invisible butlers and maids, and you're, um, different. I'm cursed, Belle. Okay, you're being dramatic. I don't want to talk about it. <coughs> I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk about it. Good night. Aww. Okay. What do you think, Scruffles? Think we can break the spell? <laughs> the next day, Belle's brothers set out for the Beast Castle. I hate this. I'm hungry. Oh, a hunting lodge? I bet they have snacks. Belle's brothers.
brother was also quite nosy, so he immediately began eavesdropping. I'm telling you, the beast was this tall. And we're going to find him one of these days. Uh, back to his journey through the dark, scary woods. No trespassing ever. Beware of beast. Oh, this must be it. What? This place is huge. I didn't know the beast was rich. Cool. Can I help you? Ah! <laughs> what are you doing here? Dad's sick. He wants you to come home. Well, you can't go now. It's way too late. You're right. We'll go in the morning. Bill's brother was actually pretty excited to stay a night at the Beast's castle. You know, now that he knew he was rich. I'm going to miss you. I'll miss you too. Honest? Yes. Okay, you'll miss each other, blah, 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 boring. The next morning, the Beast was even sadder. Finally, it was time to go. Giddy up. Bye, Sam. I'm so lonely. <laughs> Yeah, he wasn't doing so great. Belle, on the other hand, was so happy to see her dad again. Dad! Oh, I miss you so much! While Belle had missed her dad, she realized she hadn't really missed her siblings at all. Uh, Belle, we didn't think you were coming back, so we put all your stuff in storage. What's wrong with you? You look all blah. Have you been crying because you miss your hairy beast friend? Belle has a boyfriend. Belle has a boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. He's just my friend. You should marry him. He is rich. He's rich? OMG, Wiz. He's so rich. Uber rich. Like, he probably has a gazillion dollars. Suddenly, Belle's brother remembered something. That's it. What? When I was looking for the beast castle to bring back Belle, I stopped in a hunting lodge. Ew. Anyway, I overheard these hunter guys talking about finding and capturing a beast. So? Well, we could tell them where he is, and then we can take all his rich stuff. The two started plotting their super mean, some might even say evil, scheme. Can we help you, Sonny? You've been looking for a beast? I know where he is. Gustav, bring me more herbal tea and ice cream. <laughs> Belle, she's come back. Gustav, make that one ice cream two spoons. Belle, I'm so glad you... Ah! Uh, I mean... Roar! There he is! Get him! <gasps> Something's wrong. I can feel it. Sam's in trouble. Sam who? The beast! Oh, yeah. The hunters are capturing him so we can take all his rich stuff. I have to go save Sam. Okay, night-night. Belle had never gone on a rescue mission before, but she bravely went out into the night to save her best friend. Good thing I still have Sam's carriage. Giddy up, horsey! Back at the Beast Castle, the hunters had tied up Sam. Normally, he would have fought back, but he was so brokenhearted that he could barely lift a paw. <laughs> Belle! What? Belle's my sister. You'll never see her again, you mongrel. But he would see Belle again, because there she was. Our girl had a plan. Now, what are we going to do with the Beast? I'll say we put him in prison. I say we put him in the zoo. I say you let him go! Now! Oh yeah? What are you gonna do? This! Suddenly, one of the hunters was swept off his feet into the air, and then he landed on his tissue. Owie! Huh? Ugh, I'm getting pinched by something. Ouch! Oh, that's just Gustav. Gustav? Where? Ouch, make him stop! Oh, stop! Ow! Sam, are you okay? You came back. I promised I would. Aww. You're hurt. Is that a tear? Yay! What the what? I'm back. Woohoo! I was cursed by a witch a long, long time ago. A witch? I was mean to her first. She was hungry and cold, and I wouldn't help her. So she turned me into a beast made all of my staff invisible and mute, cursing me to a life of loneliness. Classic witch curse. I had given up all hope, and then you came along. Your friendship saved me. Your tears must have proved how much you care. Oh, Belle. Oh, Sam. Ah, oh, so mushy. Oh, can it, Gustav? I forgot how sassy he is. The end. <laughs>